Yeah. So I want to talk about, um, I'm sorry, I have to talk about Frederick Salmon Ward, okay? So before, I used to be sent over to, um, I, I forgot, I don't, oh, I don't know if it's Sainsbury's Ward, Sa Salesbury's Ward. So we would be sent over there. Um, was, was over there quite a few times. Um, yeah, you've got your own sort of room or you share one room with someone else. Um, but, you know, <laughs> I was sent over to Frederick Salmon Ward. And I kid you not. Oh man. I'm not even gonna lie. You know what? I was scared, man. I was scared. I felt that I was like I was in a germ pit. You hear me? A sour armpit. <laughs> you hear me? Germ pit. I felt like I was just exposed to all sorts of gastric germs, gastric stroke, medical ward, right? I felt exposed. I felt really scared. I felt like, what? Well, do you know when you're in a corner, you're just like... How's this going? How does that work? We already know the gastric issues are the gastric issues. We know those problems with their guts and stuff like that. We already know. We know that. So with all those germs and all those bugs going on, they're under medical ward. So we're with them. And lo enough of us are in there. I didn't even know what would help so many patients. I never knew. And then you all share that same bathroom with all these different germs and all these different bugs and all these different nastiness and all that stuff. Because as far as St. Mark's are concerned, they're as good as they're as good as they're as good as us. As far as that's that's what St. Mark's is saying. The gastric and medical doctors are as good as us and under our instructions they can take care of our patients. Because we're in the right facility, right? You've got us in the right place. This is, this is where you've got us. Mm -hmm. You felt like, St. Mark's, you felt like that's where we can put them. In that germ pit. With everybody else with their medical issues and their other gastric problems. And I am going to say it like that and I'm going to call it for what it is and it's the truth. Because you know why? If it wasn't so true, then why would you even have the creation of IFU ward. Why would there be an IFU ward then? At that time. Why would there be that? Why would there be a, this ward here at St. Mark's? Central Medicine Hospital. Why would there be a roundwood ward then? Why wouldn't you just put us on any medical ward, on any gastric old ward then? If you know that some of our patients can just stay there. Hmm? Especially when you know some of those patients are more sensitive or more exposed to infection. Hmm? They have to fend for their life. Deal with the nastiness in the bathrooms and deal with all the nastiness. Hmm? Try to isolate themselves as much as they can. For fear that. Hmm? prompting certain people to use their masks, begging your gastric team to do certain things, hmm? to get to the bottom of, of, of what's wrong with me. Begging. Let me shut the door for a minute. Hmm? Begging them. Literally begging them. Begging them to do a scan, because I knew something wasn't right. I was in pain. Hmm? I was having abdominal pain. This is before I got sick, you see? This is all on the track, all on the line of me being ill. Hmm? Begging the gastric team that you say, you swear by, right? Hmm? You swear by are fit to take care of your patient's scent marks. They didn't help me. And even when I had that problem with the, with the stoma, and I said it, was, it didn't even look right, it wasn't looking too great. Even getting them, even getting them to, to, to look at that.
it seemed to be an issue. However, the only good thing that came about that appointment when I did ask them, when I did ask them to have a look, when I did ask them to have a look at the. So, do you want to watch the TV? <laughs> Dar, that was creepy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the hell is that about? <laughs> I should have turned the camera around for him. <laughs> that was so weird. I thought, didn't hear me just stop because I thought, oh, you look scary right now. <laughs> I could think it was at night time. I would have been like cacking myself. This man just come in and he just turned the TV on. You could hear me in the background. So I was like, oh. <laughs> then all of a sudden he just turned around to me like, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, so back to, um, yeah, Frederick Salmon Ward. Um, it's still shocking, like, you know, and you know what's so crazy? Like, I spoke to someone recently, even like, I heard recently from even like where I am now, and, and I was telling them a bit about the situation, like, don't you know what's going on over there with your patients? Like, what? You know, though, we already had this conversation. And, you know, and they was just like, Their response was just basically just like, well, you know, we're trying to get everything put here and we're just, you know, that's why I said in the meantime, in, it's, it's, your, it's, your, it's your in the meantime that you need to watch. You need to be careful with your in the meantime of all this, you see? So it's bad enough when you get tricky patients that are already like me, but to be falling in this time where you're having this exchange or doing whatever the hell you're doing or whatever, prioritizing or whatever, I think you need to be careful. Because I'm telling you, potentially patients will die. I'm sorry. Especially if you've got some kind of like, I'm sorry. Well, because they can't get access to you or your team. Well, is this a joke? Because I'll tell you, when I went to Frederick Salmon Ward, I thought to myself, is this a joke? And again, you place us with some crazy people. Again, this is what you do. Of course, I don't tell people that who's, who, who, the, who the person is next to you. Listen, I had some woman that was next to me, a grown ass woman that was next to me. And that, nah, you got the wrong script, man. This one was going on like she was normal. But the way she used to talk to this other girl that was in here, I think it was a bit like below the belt. You're joking, you have a little joke, fair play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then this girl, this one was crossing some boundaries about certain things that she was saying to her. And I never forget this particular, when I was on the ward this time, I lost my nan and, it was, and that was my nan's first, it was my nan's birthday after she, her first birthday of her death. So I wasn't even in my play team with anybody. This woman was acting strange. One day we was in the ward and she was, I don't know if she was looking out of the glass, I don't know what, but she, she was looking in our direction, saying how she can see dark shadow or whatever she could see. I don't know what you're trying to refer to, doppy or some kind of whatever ghost. I don't know what you said, but I had to, I had to address her quickly, who? Who are you talking about? Who is it that you can see? Because so, I know it's not me at our boat. I know I'm not me at our boat. Translation, I know you're not talking about me. All right? So I'm kind of louder, but I'm just, mm, I don't, Because mm. you get all sorts, right? All of a sudden, another, another incident happened and something went ha something just went crazy this particular day. And the way, let me tell you how this girl, the way this girl tried to, I don't know, I, I don't even remember to this day now what she said. 
But I know she said something to the effect of, I don't know, like, I don't know what she said. She said, I don't know if she said, mind your business or, or who you... Like that. You take... It was... It was I'm not coming into the hospital for no craziness to be carrying on, you know. I tell you something, I flew clean over that rotted bed. I flew clean over her bed. Because whatever movie script you're trying to create, girlfriend, I'm the star of that shit because you got the wrong one, honey. I couldn't believe, listen. The girl was crazy. The woman was, she was all woman. She was crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. All I kept saying is, who the fuck are you talking to? Who the fuck are you talking to? Who the fuck are you talking to? Who the fuck till I, until I got closer and closer, until she was sitting down on the chair. Who you talk to? I don't come to the hospital for that kind of thing. She wasn't well. So if it turns out, obviously you're not privy to all that. If, what about the, if, you're not going to tell you certain things about certain patients, are they? But you still put us at risk. You still put us at risk with certain patients. The girl made a remark about the stoma scissors. Like, what is it like? Even even that remark about the stoma scissors. What was that? What was that implying? 